Welcome back, everybody. The Wonderful World of Aluna, episode uh, 11, I think. Anyway, who cares what episode it is, right? Let's just get down to the fun stuff. We need to make a node breaker, which means I need a whole bunch of different things. Um, I need some sticks for that, I believe. I just got so much junk on me right now. I don't know where to put all this stuff. Um, okay, so first things first. I need to make some mies conductors, and those I get by cooking a fragment. You know, let me just do a few right away. I don't know how many I need. Looks like I get two Mesocon wires for each crystal. Throw that in there just to get rid of it. Um... I need iron, 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 iron. I thought I had a whole bunch of iron. Here we are. Okay, so let's take a look here. Oh yeah, I know how I got that already. Uh, it's called a node breaker. I'm also going to need a blinky plant to power the node breaker. Okay, so I need a piston and muscon stone wood and a mies pickaxe. Well, the Mies pickaxe, that's easy enough, and how to do that. Okay, so, wood, stone, steel, and a wire. Stone, 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 steel, wire, wood, wood, wood. Alright, so that gives me two pistons. Okay, then, I need stone, wood, and a Mies pickaxe. Alright, so let's make the Mies pickaxe. Alrighty. Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Two wood and four stone. Okay. Do I have stone? I sure do. So we got that. We, uh, nope, nope, I want this. Those. Piston, I need a piston. Nope, nope, right there. And I believe I need a wire. Yep, okay, so I have a node breaker now. That is excellent. Uh, Blinky plant. I honestly, I don't remember. I thought it was a sapling. Oh, three saplings and two wires. Okay, uh, it shouldn't be an issue. I don't know if I have any saplings, though. Ah, I've got a whole bunch of saplings. Assuming pine saplings will work. Which I honestly, I don't know if these are necessarily in the group. They are, good. All right, so we have a blinky plant. Um, I should probably get a chest too. I think. Cause I'm gonna want something for all this material to go into. All right, and ah, didn't quite jump far enough. That was a bad point to jump off of, I guess. Didn't hit the water, but that is all right. We're over here. We've got this lovely, lovely machine working. Now I don't remember. I'll use this mushroom gill. I think that's placed in the entirely wrong direction. No, I don't want it pointing up. Hmm, maybe. Can I do it? Ah! I feel like there was. Wait. Was there just one? Ah, oh, I thought there was two. Okay, so that's not working. Which is great. Do I have a bucket on me? Okay. Alright, let's try this. I'll take the water... ...out. Okay, so the water's gone. I'll mine this. And I guess do it again. No break. Oh no, I don't have... 
hope it doesn't get burnt up or lost. No, okay, good. Um, let's do that. Okay, then I'll put the node breaker here. Okay, now it's work. That's weird. Why did it? I don't know. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's right. I did that before and it worked. Okay, so now. Let's try this out. We need the blinky plant and we need the chest. I will put the chest behind the node breaker. Right there. I'll put the blinky plant. Whoops. Blinky plant on top of the node breaker. No. There we go. Then. Okay. Let's do it. Does the blinky plant need to be next to it? Really? I can't put it... Huh. That doesn't make any sense. Let's go ahead and throw this weed in there. And... No breaker broke it. Gave me wheat seeds and I have some basalt cobble. All right, so let's try this another way. Can I put the bunky plant right there? Okay, that works. That does not make... If I have the blinky plant on top, it doesn't work. No, it doesn't. All right, well, that's all it takes. I guess it's needing a fix. All right, so I throw water in there. And we'll go ahead and get rid of this. Now this will, yeah, it tries to break it, but because water is not. Oh. Um, let me try this again. I think I need to let the lava flow first and then put the water in. Okay, let's let's try this. I'll, I'll get it eventually. Okay. No, would you stop doing this? Why isn't this working? What what am I doing wrong? It worked perfectly fine before. Oh, maybe. Let's put the water in there. Okay, the water doesn't have anywhere to flow to. Okay, this might be what I needed to do. No, because now it's... <laughs> what am I doing wrong here? This worked before. I know, because I did it. I mean, I'm definitely getting plenty of material doing it this way. I wonder if... Let's just try. What if I throw the water here? Okay, node breaker works, as it should. Unfortunately, that lets the water flow beyond where it should flow. So let's turn that off. But I really want... Ooh, what if we do this? Okay, here's an idea. I don't know if this is going to work. I'll just need to be very fast. Okay, node breaker will break the cobble. It'll make new material there. It'll break it. New material. Okay, I think I think I have mastered the cobble generator. Or basalt generator. Alright. 
So now I have some basalt. I have cobble. Wahoo. Okay, this is working. I don't... I was going to throw torches on those corners, but I don't think it needs it because it already has the lava. All right, so that... It'll only work when someone's in the area, so it'll only run when I'm over here, which is just fine. I wouldn't necessarily want it running much more than that because it would just end up creating a whole bunch of stuff that we don't need or want. Okay. He needs something fancier than pine. I don't know what though. Maybe just a smooth stone floor. Sure, why not? Smooth stone would be good for an office. Yeah. Kind of like a, a slate or something. Uh, probably not a slate. More like a granite, I suppose. It would be. I am no geologist. So, uh... Rocks are not exactly my area of expertise. But that looks pretty good. No windows in the back, because shelves will be up against those walls. Big windows here. Which, I don't have any glass on. But I think I got a bunch... Oh, maybe I don't. I may have used all of that on the blacksmith shop. I don't remember. Well, either way, I'm going to get back over here and put some work in on the castle. Where's my, where's my little hut? Hut should be kicked out of here, actually needs to be migrated over to uh, the blacksmith shop. Alright. So I've got everything I need to make more stone. Or of whatever... Ah, whatever we want to call this stuff. Alright, I got that. Let's go ahead and make the chest. So I've got materials to do that now. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and make it a locked chest, even though I really don't think it needs to be. This is where I'm going to be storing all of my, like, super mega uber valuable stuff. And by that I mean, like, diamonds and steel and ores and things like that. So I just want to make sure it's safe. And then... We'll do this and grab those and I guess I'll go ahead and make some more just cuz why not Wow that gave me a lot of paving stone well that's good cuz I'm gonna need a lot I need a lot lot all right let's go ahead and build this stuff up now of course it should be no surprise to anybody that I'm not going to have windows. Hey, there's a bat out there. Is that a bat? I think it is a bat. Um, but yeah, there, there won't be any windows. I'll have to get that corner from elsewhere. Because, well, you know, it's a castle. And you don't want people just walking in. Which I know, technically, you can't walk through a window. Not easily, anyway. I suppose large windows you could. But I'm going to do... Ah! That was weird. I'm going to do a like a walkway up on the top. Where the... I suppose archers and stuff would patrol. Or at least would be stationed in the event of an attack. And I will put arrow slits in up there. Because I'm pretty sure... The castle's mod is here. Actually, I'm 99% I'm sure it is, because I think that's what these blocks are from. And uh, it has some really nice castle stuff. Like slits for shooting arrows through. I think it has murder holes. Which, yeah, those are great. 
Why is that a different texture? That's odd. Uh, huh. Anyway, murder holes. Probably one of the best or worst ideas ever, depending on, I guess, where you stand. I can't mine it? Oh no, what, what happened? Huh. Well, anyway, getting back to our, uh, our topic on hand, murder holes. Essentially, what a murder hole is, is a hole in a floor usually would be put over a walkway or right up against a wall. And if your castle was being attacked, the idea was that you could pour boiling oil out of the murder hole and onto your attackers. Which, if you're the one being attacked, that's a great idea. It's a good way to get rid of the people that are attacking you. If you're the person attacking the castle, yeah, boiling oil getting poured onto your skin is not pleasant. No, I do not have personal experience with this, but I know that the oil is pretty much just going to stick to you. And boiling oil is really hot, and you're just going to get really, really bad burns. And pretty much you're not going to be um, attacking that castle very much. Because you're probably going to end up dying from it. So yeah, that's, that's your history lesson, kids. Um, yeah, I, I don't really know what lesson to te teach you from that. <laughs> Other than if you're attacking somebody's castle, make sure you don't stand anywhere where there's a murder hole. And, um, I guess if you are building a castle and you don't want people to attack you, you might want to put in murder holes? I, I, I guess I don't really know what the lesson to take from that is. I don't... I should really find out if there's something I can use this quartz stuff for, because I, I can have tons of it, and I get it on every single server I play on. And I pretty much just throw it all out. I'm not sure what good it is. But I bet there is some use. Alright, so... You should probably have some lights in here. And I will... Doubtless do better lighting later on, but for now that works. Um, the floor... Above this. I have to decide... You know what, I'm going to do a, a dirt stairway going up for right now. And I didn't even put that in the right spot, dummy. Um, and I'll just do... I'll just do that so I can get up here. The castle wall should go high enough. So people can't break in, of course. What? How is he jumping that high? There should be a drop-off. Yes, like that. Okay, well, clearly, we have just established that this wall was not yet high enough. Because this dirt monster could jump the height of it and attack me. Oh, you have to be... Why is he so smart? Wow. Was... No way. Dumb dirt monsters. I'm just really surprised he could reach me up here. Okay, well. I guess he's just uh, better at things than originally thought. And I don't know why I left this all dirt. But I should have converted to stone too. Huh. Well, whatever. I think this will probably be high enough for me. It'll give me enough space where I can easily build things underneath it. Could hang some lights from ceilings if I wanted. 
But castle wall probably should be taller than anything inside of it, right? Like, if you're going to protect the houses inside of your castle, your castle wall should be taller than your tallest house to, you know, make sure that people can't shoot your houses up. Maybe I should frame this up in wood. Nah. I'll just do it all stone. I mean, I could do it with wood, but I think stone... Stone just works. Alright, so we have that. The roof. You know, I... I didn't really think of this. Ugh. If I do a walkway up here, which is the plan, how do I make that work? What if... I don't, I don't know how I'm going to reach it, is what I'm saying. Like, I do that so we have a an overhang. Oh, actually. I guess just like this works. So we have an overhang going out. And then on top of that is where I put the the doodads with the arrow slits which let me pull up the reference guide here um can i just try arrow yeah okay and i probably want stone brick arrow slit they're they're all crafted by using the same thing stone brick i use six of them and i get six how do I make a stone brick? I'm not sure what what I need for that. <laughs> oh, for stone, and I get a stone brick. Okay. Well, that seems easy enough. And then I just shove those together to get a stone brick. Okay. Do I have? I do. That gives me four, so I'm gonna need to do. Well, give me eight. And let's see. Let's see how this works. Oh no, that's not right. I'd want those. Oh, how am I gonna make this work? Yeah, I don't want it facing that way. And I can't place it on the note I'm standing on. That works, but that's going to be a pain to put them out. That might not even be the style I want to use. I can do an arrow slit with cross. Or with a hole. Or the straight one. Well, let's... Ah. I'll have to decide which I want to use. And then... I have to figure out how I'm actually doing this. Because I should do... Can I do stairs? I can. What I want to do is upside down... Oh, that would have killed me. Well, maybe not. I think I would hit water. So I probably would have been okay. Um. Yeah, that's kind of... Kind of got me stuck there, but it's okay. Um... Yeah, I want to do stairs and flip them upside down and put them on the outside edge here. So it's it's pretty from the outside. It's going to be a pain to do. And I'll do that from the inside as well to a lesser degree. Well, I guess it'll actually be the exact same amount. The question is how thick to make the wall. Like if I do... Let me just take all these back. If I make my wall and do, say, three wide, which to me would seem to be a good thickness for a wall, you know, gives plenty of space for the people walking around on top of it. It just gets confusing when you got all these corners and angles and stuff. 
how do I how do I determine that? Now obviously this floor here that's for the tower. So that gives me a problem where I can't use the stairs now. I'm doing this. Nope, I didn't want that right there and there. Oh my pegs broke! So something like that. A nice arrow slits. And this is a good space for walking. And that'll probably work well actually for the angles. Because you'll have a wide enough path where it won't matter. It's just going to be tricky knowing the widths and everything to go on this stuff. Then I'll put the whole wall around like that. Put arrow slits. Is there another wall panel? I don't know what you would... What would you call these? Just to find them and see if there's a style like that doesn't have the slit. Okay, well here these are. Those are the murder holes. Alright, so it doesn't look like there's a... Hmm, there's not a non-arrow slitted version. So essentially, I either have to do all arrow slits, or put the arrow slits between something else. Now corners are obviously going to be an issue, because I can't put two arrow slits on one block. So in a corner I'll just have to do a full block, and then maybe I'll make them like three wide, three arrow slits in a full block or something. So I think that's tall enough. Oh yeah, it's putting me really close. Ah, I can't navigate like this. It's putting me really close, but I think the three air or the two block high is well, yeah, because you can walk under two blocks. So you must be shorter than two blocks. So that would work. And it's just kind of a question of symmetry and design and all that good stuff but yeah that's I think gonna wrap this video up. oh definitely gonna wrap this video up I did not realize I was looking at almost 30 minutes get to the safety of my little shack here and give the good uh you know outro that I always have to give like subscribe comment give it a thumbs up even if you don't like it give it a thumbs up just because thumbs ups are cool and uh yeah check out my website 